exits. But it looks to me as though he's really trying to make a great exit in this fight, to finish the fight with some kind of style and decisiveness. But if you were looking through the universe, if you were searching for a round to give to Telesco, maybe round six was where you found it. Jones was 19 out of 36. Telesco, 14 of 38. First round in which he's thrown more punches than Jones. Harold, how do you have it through six? No, Jim, I got it six to nothing. 60 to 54, Roy Jones. You know, Jim, when David Telesco bangs Roy Jones to the body, Roy picks the shots up with his elbows. I mean, it's good defense by Jones. It's unbelievable. When Jones punches to the body, they land. They get through, they land in the scoring area. Roy Jones is hitting right there. Hitting right in the ribs, not on the elbows. Telesco driving Jones back into the ropes. Looked like he was going to go for another one of those high tackles. And some of my ringside associates were scrambling for high ground. Remembering how Hasim Rachman landed in our lap a couple of months ago. Our collective lap. Arthur McKenney is how old? 80. Good gracious. In a couple of weeks. He's in pretty good shape, George. And he, he makes these guys pay attention. Let's go with the counter left hand as Jones was banging away to the body with the right. Roy now firing lead left hooks. A new stratagem as round 70 balls. And there's the right hand up the pipe again. Telesco's face is beginning to show the effects of Jones's many right hand connects. I have no idea what Telesco is waiting on. <laughs> Roy Jones doesn't tie. He's not going to get tired. Jones, who trains year-round, in effect. No bad habits whatsoever. And an excellent body puncher. My goodness. Knock it off. Knock it off, man. Hasn't done much jabbing at all, Roy Jones. Punch combination by Jones and one for good measure. Well, the crowd beginning to get a little restless out in the uh, expensive seats, and, and they're all fairly expensive seats here. You think, you think anyone ever booed the Rockets? <laughs> Not if they saw him. But some of them are booing this. Maybe they expected Telesco to put up a more aggressive effort. The man who conceived the place, Roxy Rothafel, saw a sunset on a European cruise ship coming back from Europe and said, I'd love for the effect of the theater to be like that. I'm here, you see? Yeah, rest off. Yeah, I'm sure. You have to work with this guy, Dad. Come on, work with him. Work with him. Roy has never landed so many clean body shots against an opponent as he has against Telesco. Telesco has taken a, a real drubbing but he keeps coming back, looking for an answer that doesn't seem to be out there. Well, for the past 15 months or so, Telesco and his buddies have been showing up at Roy Jones events, news conferences, fights, even boxing after dark shows at which Roy is working as an expert commentator and, and in effect calling him out. Roy ignored them for months. Then when a date with Graciano Rakitani fell through here, he had his management call Telesco and say, your chance. Let's go. Roy is standing in and exchanging with him for a moment there. Roy throws his punches like you do a baseball bat. He just throws them upside the guy here. Do you know that Archie Moe would not allow me to throw punches like that? 
So listen, George, if you're going to hit these guys, go for the knockout. Don't pound them. You can do permanent damage. Finish your guy off. If he's hurt, it's best to just go on and get it over with. So Archie wanted you to punch more through the target instead of at it? No, you just want to get the guy out of there. But when yeah. you start using your hands just like a, a rock or something, slinging punches, it's more harmful damage over the long run. Turn the shot over, get your knockout. Now Jones backs into a corner again and gives Telesco a chance to land. And Telesco lands two body shots and a straight right upstairs and comes back pounding to the ribcage. Best rally so far for Telesco, or one of them. And Jones accepts the punishment and then punches his way back. The good thing, Roy Jones has his hands up high. Once his hands are up high, you are in a safe position. Keep them up high. You he like to drop those hands so he can get some power with them. Roy, uh, George, you think that Roy's a little tired? No, he's smart. He's understanding that he's exerted all the energy. Very experienced fighter with over 45, 40 boxing matches. Knows that, hey, these last rounds, if you get tired, get yourself hurt, make the other guy exhaust some energy. Exert some energy. He's not tired, although he's not doing something smart. Jones finally comes off the ropes. Because Telesco is tired of throwing punches, so he's going to back up and look for some oxygen. Well, Welch. Hold on the head and uppercut. Let's go. Run. Canty warning Jones for holding behind the head after Jones ripped Telesco with a left hook. There are welts under Telesco's eyes, and undoubtedly there are some welts under, under the skin around his middle because he's absorbed a tremendous body beating. 80-year-old referees watching things that we can't see. I like it. Hands up. Mm -hmm. Hold the water bottle. Mm -mm. Take it out a little further when you put it down, shoot. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Right here. Yeah. yeah. Boy, Roy, stop pushing your head down and right. uppercutting. Okay. You gotta stop his elbows, you stop too. Okay. Elbow. okay. You gonna do that? Okay. Yeah. There we go. Okay, push it up to the rope. Don't give him no distance. If you fight from outside, you don't want to see him. You have to put it up in the rope and fight. You're doing good. Keep fighting, but Come on, do it. Do it. Here you see Telesco in his best round, a round he might have won, landing a hard right elbow. <laughs> the first one we've seen tonight. begins you saw the swelling around both telesco eyes in the past when roy jones has been this far ahead in a fight he's tended to want to coast to the late rounds believing why give an opponent a chance to do something dramatic so what if he does it here? Harold, how do you have it scored through eight? <laughs> you know, Jim, I gave, I gave David Telesco that 38th round. He certainly pounded Roy in the body enough, and you know, he's hanging in there, there's no question. 79, uh, 79, 73, seven rounds to one. Roy Jones drew, I think that eighth round is the only round that Telesco won. He's got to pick this up or he has no chance whatsoever. He needs a knockout to win. It wasn't you or me who gave him that round, Harold. It was Roy himself. Taking a blow. That's true. Telesco has been past eight rounds four times in his career. Jones, a veteran of the distance, has been past the H 11 times. Those body punches are starting to hurt Telesco. He doesn't want any more of them. Fighting from back here, Telesco may gain the honor of finishing the fight. You don't want that honor. You want to be champ of the world. Right hand drives Telesco back. Left hand whacks against Telesco's cheek. This is the Telesco of early in the bout, throwing few punches, missing when he does, and being pot shotted from the outside by Roy Jones. Roy coasted the last round, and now he's picking up the pace a bit. I still don't like those slingshot punches he throws. Roy 
backs into the corner again. It's the same corner which has twice been an invitation for Telesco to go to work to the body. And now Mercanti's going to talk to Telesco about that low blow. Stay in the neutral corner. Watch that low blow. That was nasty, okay? Next time. Okay, good. Box. Telesco's left eye rapidly swelling shut. That's the effect of all those right hand leaves. But being slapped hard, slapped. It's like abuse. It's because the glove slides across your skin. Yeah, he just slaps you. But I, I just can't say enough for this referee. He's 80 years old. He stood up and bounced every round. Old ain't old anymore. You doggone right, George. Let's go with a couple of left hooks to the body. Crowd gets into it as David begins to show his stuff. You can't back up, though. you got to stay there. Oh, what a vicious left hook to the body by Jones. That stool should have been in that ring, in that corner before he got Boy, there. when you hit the bell, let me stop, okay? It's the guy's low blow. Open it up, man. Don't stand with this joker when you get wild on the ropes. Open it up. Stand in the middle. You're the one all around. Don't sit there and take no chance. But I'm keeping in the middle of the ring. Some other guys watch it. Guys. The guy hitting the left arm, you don't say nothing. You don't do nothing. He's a quarter of the time of the rope. So you were doing the same. Hey, two more rooms. Who do hand high? Put it to the rope. Rough him up. Hit in the bounds of him. Fuck that. Okay? Once again. Roy Jones to the side. Oh, that hurts me, George. It hurts. You know, Alton Merker has trained Roy Jones and knows him so well.